Hey everyone, welcome back to Skyrim. Today is the day we try and capture a dragon. We are going to proceed with the Fallen. We need to talk to the Jarl of Whiterun, because we're looking to use Dragon's Reach to capture a dragon, apparently. We're going to see just how difficult this is. I wonder if it's... It must be up there somewhere. I haven't actually looked around upstairs in Dragon's Reach to see where this thing is, yeah. Can I get in here? There we go. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was hitting the center post. Well Father done. Father says I'm too young to train with the sword, so I practice with my fists. Congratulations. You grow up to be a douche. All right, Mr. Yarl, we need to use Dragon's Reach here, bud. We can May never the gods watch over your battles, friend. I need your help. I need to trap a dragon in your palace. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. That's what I said. Uh, you know, I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. You heard right. It's the only way to stop the dragons. Of course. You already saved White Run from that dragon. Yep. I owe you a great deal. Yes, you do. But I don't understand. Why let a dragon into the heart of my city when we've been working so hard to keep them out? Hmm. The threat is worse than you know. Alduin has returned. Well, he's returned, but then he, he left again because I kind of beat him up a bit. Alduin. The world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? It's only hopeless if we give up, Mr. Yarn. I'm Dragonborn, it's my destiny. Stop him, maybe so. I don't know about such things, but I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. It should be. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way. Come on, man. I want man. to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Now, this isn't... Ulfric oh, and General no. Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Come on, man. What if you didn't have to worry about an enemy attack? I'll take them all on my, on my own. Then... I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has my gone too was deep. A strong woman. Maybe. She's the one who instructed me hmm. on my sword fighting. What of the Greybeards? Can you imagine? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Get the Greybeards to help negotiate. The Greybeards like me. Plus, Parthenox is their leader, and I didn't hurt him, so... Leave that to me. I'll talk to him. Started season unending. Aye, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Uh, I don't know about stopping the war, now, but... Don't mind, as long as I can stop it temporarily enough to where I can... Get the dragon and do my Father thing. Says, I'm too young to train with the sword, so I practice if that <laughs> is the Jarl's kid, somebody needs to slap him upside the head with a sword. Alright, so I need to apparently go up to High Hrothgar, which I am not riding up there. There ain't no way. You guys know how long it takes to get up here. You have to go like zigzag, wind around, starting over here. You zigzag like around the... Forget it, we're going up there. It just ain't happening. One trip up there was bad enough. Two trips? I don't think so. Well, they... You know, they do like me. They know. They know media is a respectful dragonborn. I respect the way of the voice. So hopefully they will help me out. Wolfgar. Hey, Wolfgar. Say Dovaki. Oh yeah, I like it when you say Dovahkiin. Let's see if they're gonna help us, man. Come on, help me! Don't make me go running all over this place. Alduin, we heard the dragon wren shout from here. 
You defeated him? Yeah, but he escaped. I need to find his portal to Sovngarde. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. East? I need your help. I need to capture a dragon. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. All right. Let me worry about capturing the dragon. You need to help me stop the war, man. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political Oh, come on, man. Come on. He won't help me unless you help. The dragon will lead you to Alduin. Yeah. But without the Jarl's help. Yeah. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have Yeah, to go. see? Parthenax. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. Me and Parthenax are tight. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. What? We'll see if they still remember us. Oh, they remember you. All right, so now I have to, I have to go. Wow. Sky, got you. I have to go all the way down there and talk to these guys. Don't tell me that they're going to make me do quests just to be able to talk to them. Say Dovahkiin. Dovahkiin. Thank you. Yeah. Rumbling the High Hrothgar. Say my name, say my name. All right, let's see where are these guys at. I know one's going to be here in Windhelm. One's going to be in Solitude. Morvinsker, Windhelm Stables, Windhelm Palace of the Kings. Here we come, you guys. I wonder, I wonder how hard the battle is going to be. I guess I can use Dragonren maybe to bring the dragon down, but I don't know. All right, Ulfric, Stormcloak. Don't make me start the civil war to do. Won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. Who's He'll talking? Come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire is putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. That dude right there is a real Nord. Look at that dude. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Bold Ruff a stronger message? No, no, hey. Speak with Garmar. He'll size you up and see where we can best use your talents. Hey, listen. I have a message from the Greybeards, man. It's about time they turn their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? They want to negotiate a truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. Can you do that for me? Please. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. Oh, come on, man. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Uh... Alduin. Yeah. The world eater of song and legend. Yeah. If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? You think? Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. Yeah. So you'll come then? Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Oh, dude, come on, man. And taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? Oh, my gosh. So we're ready to start this war in no. earnest, then? Galmar, no. Soon. Not yet. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. You know, these Torig guys are sitting now. in here in their little palace. You know, trying to figure out... A, ooh, nice. Trying to figure out exactly how to, you know, do all this stuff. I bring up Alduin, they freak out. I'm the one who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the dude. I don't know what they're talking about. Man. No, no coins. Fighting dragons. Busy. Busy, busy. Oh my gosh. Everyone's so afraid of Alduin. 
Dragonborn Meaty stood up there as Parthenox watched over as I just beat him down, ran him back off to Sovngarde. What? Oh, come on, Meaty's horse. Get up here, buddy boy. Get some ride to do. Oh! Just headbutt. Alright. We've got to head over to Solitude. What's the fastest route? Probably this route. Uh, Solitude. Home of the Imperials. Yeah, I don't know. You know, the thing about Solitude... The thing about Solitude is it's got a really nice... Um, the home you get there. You know, I got the home. It's I forget what it's called. It's nice. Like, Bree's home in, in Whiterun is... You know, just looks like everything else. But the one in Solitude, it's over by the Blue Palace. It is nice. It's really dark inside, though. Oh, there's a dragon. Maybe he knows. Maybe he heard things. Oh, okay. Dragon, you gonna hit the ground? What the deuce? Oh, you gonna start this stuff, huh? You can play your game. Oh, how do you like that? Hit the ground. Hit the ground. Not over there, dude. What the deuce, man? Was hit. Hit. Yeah. Oh, Vin Vinteruth. It's a name dragon. No, oh, how do you like that? Come on, dragon ring. I want him to fall over here. Oh yeah, Meaty's horse. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Come on, Dragon. Oh, dude, you, you got nothing. You're dead? You're not very strong, Dragon. Did I get the soul? Give me your soul. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Mm -mm. Absorb that soul. With the moon in the background and his dragon bone sword or bow in his hand. Oh, so good. Like that. This dude wasn't that strong. I had some people. One dragon bone. I think that dictates a little bit like how strong they're gonna be is what they end up giving you. It may be dead now, but where did it come from? The skies? So I had some people. You, you I did. Where are all these Khajiit coming from? It's like a mad pack of Khajiit helping out. Thanks for helping out. Thanks for stepping in, people. Appreciate it. Thanks for the effort. I really, really appreciate it. We, That dude, for being a named dragon, he didn't have much going. You guys got this... Uh, look, at, look at these are Imperial troops. Look how close they are to... To Ulfric. They have like a little thing here or something? That's that's really close. Like I don't know if there's any storm cloaks this close to solitude. I think that uh Ulfric and the storm cloaks are probably the underdogs in this civil war. That's kinda why I want to join them. I you know the other reason is I just I really just don't like the Imperials. They remind me of like Caesar and, and you know that that whole thing like that. I don't know, Caesar taking over everything just Demolishing country after country. It just reminds me of the same idea. Epic music. Oh, where'd the trail go? Silver Drift Lair. I must have been there before. Alright, so Solitude actually isn't shouldn't be that far away. I mean, we need to run Meaty's horse out a little bit. Make sure he's good to go. Oh! This isn't Fallout. Why are there giant spiders? <laughs> More spiders. These are like frost spiders. These th these places here, I don't think I've I've you know I've discovered them, but I haven't. Yeah, I see. I definitely haven't fought them yet. Um, why is this like right in the middle of the road? Oh, it goes around. Wow. Dawnstone. Is there no easier? 
There's no easy way around this mountain, is there? Who's up in this place? You're as good as dead. No, 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 don't go. Bandit Marauder. They're right in his face. Do you see that? Oh, it's not. Bow's not accurate from on horseback. Let's go, Majul. Going around this place. Am I going to ride off a mountain cliff again here? Am I putting Meaty's horse in danger? Seems pretty typical. That's good. Is that... Is that headless horse... Uh, why do I keep seeing the... The ghost headless horseman riding around randomly throughout Skyrim? Very, very strange. Very strange to me. Alright, let's find ourselves a little path here. Would be kind of nice. It's like a nice, kind of bright, clear, snowy night. You notice that? Oh, here's that place. Oh my gosh. I can't ever pronounce it. What is it? Something with an M, yeah. Sinch, Minch, for left. Yeah, oh man, I'm terrible with names. And they're cool exits. The Great Lift has been discovered. Oh, excuse me. Coming through. I'm trying to make my way to solitude, dude. Go up and over the mountain. Meaty's horse has four-wheel drive. Down the other side. No jumping. No jumping, my friend. All right, we should be getting close here. What are you doing? Stand out in the middle of nowhere. Some of these weird soldiers just out. Like, maybe he was taking a pee, I guess. You know, he had to find himself a nice little tree. Oh, here's my least favorite... Um, swampy area here. I do not like the swamps. Must have discovered that already. No? Guess not. Man, there's so many things to discover, I tell you. Oh, no! That's why I don't like these things. Spiders. Giant, giant spiders. Enormous spiders. All right, this ride was a little bit longer than I expected. Um, where are we? What? Oh my gosh, it's way too far. Fast travel. I can't deal with that anymore. I thought I was crossing the, uh, I thought I was crossing into solitude right there. All right, where is Tullius the douche at? You guys want to see, maybe, so, I know most of you probably know this, but I'm going to show you real quick what the, is it Proud Spire Manor? Is that what it's called? Ugh. Been tending to your hounds? Smell like a wet dog. I think, yeah, that's it right there. Proud Spire Manor. It's right next to the Bard's College. It's pretty cool. Pretty nice. It's mine. I own it. I own it. Like, you know, doing all the quests and everything for, um... I've seen enough death to last three lifetimes. Uh, I know. So, as if Skyrim didn't have enough... Why does everyone feel the need to talk to me as I walk by him? I don't think it's necessary. Just saying. We gotta get this peace truce going on. I wanna, I wanna get, I wanna see how we capture this dragon. I'm, I'm very curious. You, I remember you. You were at Helgen. Speak to Legate Rika. I suspect we could use someone like you. Yeah, right. That's not why I'm here, dude. And there ain't no yes, sir, Mr. Yeah, whatever. I see. Then there's nothing further to discuss. If you change your mind, speak with the legate. I have a message from the Greybeards. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? Whoa, you see, this guy, this guy lacks the respect. The Ulfric said, you know, that he... Re that they turned, you know, he did say that they turned their heads down from the skies, but he said, you know, he's got the respect of the all the Nords, so. Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. Dude, we need a truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion. And I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Dude, seriously? 
The dragons are a bigger problem than the Stormcloaks right now. Trust me on this, because I am the one fighting the dragons everywhere. Uh, you may have a point. It's getting difficult to even move troops around without attracting a dragon attack. Yeah. That's By what all I said. accounts, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as badly. Even Alfred might see the sense of a truce under these conditions. That's what I'm trying to tell you, dude. Gosh, if you quit bumping your gums for two seconds, I would have said that. Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. You're probably gonna get killed, dude. That's probably He'd be good. insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. What the Every deuce? Day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. Dude, it's a rebellion. Majol. Call it whatever. It's the exorcist. The man's going to Out of body experience. Majol. I'm itching for a fight. You're itching, all right. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I've got an. Why do all my companions get. It's a danger. Oh no. Oh, she's freaking. She's freaking out. Why do my companions all get freaked out? La 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 I'm Mary Poppins Majol La 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 I can't, I can't even do it. I got a fat. I'm out of here. OMG, you guys. This is like the third or fourth time that my companions have gone into poltergeist mode on me. Thinking they're Mary Poppins flying through the wind with their umbrellas. The last one was Pippi Longstockings. I got Mary Poppins. What's the name of the girl from The Exorcist? That's who she is. Oh, man. Even, um... Carrie, she freaked out when I came out of your Vasker that time. You guys remember? So I had Majol freaking out in Solitude. I had Carrie freaking out in your Vasker. And then I had um, the uh, the new one, what was her name, freaking out over at the Thieves Guild. Remember? Oh my gosh. You know, when my I see you like that, it's not a, not a good She's mental picture to have in my head. My sword fighting techniques. Oh Can you imagine? Goodness. All right. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. What? The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Dude, listen. Parthenox is your leader. Him and I are tight. We both speak dragon. Shut your pie hole and let's get on with this. Don't worry. I'll get them to agree to peace. I don't know if I wouldn't. No, no. Peace? <laughs> I doubt. They're not yet tired of war. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table. And let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Oh, they're just coming in now? Where's the... Who's this? Oh! So, Arn Gear, is it? You know why uh -oh. we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. Yeah. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. No, 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 no. More, actually. It's the blades. Since we were the ones that put the dragonborn on this path. Where are you? Hubris of the blades truly knows no bounds. Delphine, we're not here to rehearse old grudges. The matter at hand is urgent. Aldwin must be stopped. That's right. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Aldwin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Dude, I didn't invite you guys. Uh, very well. You may enter. Aren't gear, dude. Oh my gosh, you're not helping out. We're talking to Stormcloaks and Imperials, not the Blades. The Blades want me to kill Parthenox. I know they do. And like I said, where, where'd she go? Is she trying to go up to the throat of the world? 
She won't make it past the storms. Delphine. They've led me astray. Where's my seat? Ulfric? Tullius? Have a seat. Sit down, you guys. Hello? Well, there's Delphine. Oh, let's all wait for Delphine. Ooh. Big talk about Dragon Slayer, but she... I love the cold air. It's exhilarating. Majol. Now that everyone Perhaps is here, please blood, take your seats something about so we can begin. Majol. Now's the time when the adults talk. I Please keep quiet. All come no. Here in the spirit you of... insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Here, here. Is that... I have every right to be at this negotiation. Elowen, she's... I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If See, she's part of the... the terms oh my gosh. Ulfric, sit we'll down, dude. Anyway. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input. On yeah, this. you think? Because I can kick everybody's yeah, butt in this yeah. place. The nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Listen, I agree. I agree with you on this one. All right? You're right. Thalmor have no business here. Look at this. What's the harm besides Tullius doesn't really want her here either? That would raise some... Yeah, let's do that one. Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Tullius needs to know I won't be pushed around. I agree. Oh my gosh. Let Tullius have his way. No. Well said. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. Get out of here, Thalmor. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. That's right. That dude. Unlike your imperial friends here. Galmor, he's a real... You're lucky I hey, respect dude. The Greybeard's counsel, Sit down. Legate, Sit you down. represent the Emperor here. The Emperor Sorry, that I killed. Now sit down. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? Thank you. Get the Thalmor out of here. To say first. Here we go. <laughs> the only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to We're here to arrange a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. That's right. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to when proceed? I I Michelle, big, big, big person time. No time to talk. Zip it. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. And do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, I'll this is outrageous. This. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something mm. for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. What would the Empire character. want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. 
This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. It was my idea. You are a traitor to the Empire and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Um Winterhold. Riften? No, see, Riften, strategically, if you think about it, I mean, Winterhold is up across the top. I'm trying to remember where Markarth is. How about Winterhold? I'm the... Yeah, Winterhold. In exchange for Markarth, the source of most of Skyrim silver. Hardly. Riften seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from across Lake Honrik. Plus all the mead we can drink. All the mead we can drink. There are no advantages to gaining Winterhold Persuade. Or there are advantages. You're right, Riften's a fair trade. You asked my opinion, I gave it to you. Not enough to outweigh the loss of Markarth. With the reach in enemy hands, our whole position in solitude would be threatened. Exactly. Because I'm going to be siding with these guys because I don't like you. Oh. Do I have to do this? I'm glad you agree. I was starting to wonder whose side you were on. I'm on their side, dude. The Dragonborn has spoken, Tullius. Markarth will be ours. I really miss traveling now like we'll this. See if there's anything Walking the breadth of Skyrim has always been You disappoint me, Dragonborn. Me. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. Yeah? Well, I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. Give you Riften, dude. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice <laughs> thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Headsman's Axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit Esper. arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned. The world eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? Well, I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has got out of hand. <laughs> If this truce will help the Dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Shores, bones, where will these demands end? I'm listening. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation. This is our whole land, us. All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? I say that you just reminded me that when this whole thing started in Helgen, it was you guys trying to chop off my head. That's why I'm going to kill you all right now. Well, maybe not right now. Who's to say what happened there at Karth Waston? I should have known better than to expect you to give us a fair hearing. Once again, the Empire takes the blame for the crimes of others. Yep. You know I can't agree to these terms. I've seen the enough Emperor death would to repudiate last three this treaty and I would be Yet recalled. I never tired of Damn a good imperial fight. arrogance. What do you make of that? Let's hear it. We want the Pale returned to Imperial control. Traitor Skull the Elder will be replaced with a more loyal candidate. What next, Talius? Shall I just hand over all of Skyrim? I guess I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. 
Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. Dude, you better watch so, your tone Dragon with Mark. me. What do you say? I don't think Ulfric should give up any more territory. As I expected, you favor your friends. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it Colovian brandy. These terms are still not acceptable. You see what talking to them gets us? Let's hear it. Never mind. I can see that these are the best terms we'll get from this council. So be it. The Empire at least puts the greater good above our own interests. It seems we may have an agreement. Good. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thongvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Ellison? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. These terms blatantly favor the rebels. Everyone here knows that. But the Empire will accept that I don't see until that. the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Delmar. We have a lot of work to do. By them getting Giving Riften... Giving up is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all. Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this Skyrim meeting, is one of the I was most busy in the Library of Skyhaven Temple, an unguessed troll of a lost lord. And I'm proud but the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Aldwin has raised up. Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power, shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. All right, what would he be called then? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loathe to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon. After your victory over Aldrin, I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. What is his name already? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in the scroll. Oda Vin. Winged snow hunter, as I read it. Word of power learned. There's one more thing. We know about Parthia. Parthenax, the dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. No way. Until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. No, 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 no. I'm not. Alright, I'm I'm not uh doing that. I am not killing Parthenox. Sorry. Delphine. 
You know, it's like the same thing. They, everybody always wants something for nothing. Should I... Everyone's leaving. Where's... Where did Agnar go? Could speak with Parthenox, it said. Is he already back here studying? Dovaki, Dovaki. That's me. Where did Agnar go already? Go up into the sleep chamber? The deuce. You go out to st study some words? Oh my gosh, I can't find him. When I was young, I journeyed... Let's see. My father on hunting expeditions into Morrowind. Is he down Three here farther? Made for excellent sport. That's Bori. Where's... He's outside already? Or this is leading me up to Parthenog. Oh, maybe he's up in his tower. He goes up in his tower and meditates. Here he is. He's going to his tower. I fear this truce will not last. General Tullius will be looking for any opportunity to regain the advantage. I don't see how, how the advantage swung. I thought it him getting rift in, he's all the way to the bottom right corner of the map. That's theoretically cutting the whole place in half. The blades want me to kill Parthenox. Now you see why I've warned you against them. Bloodthirsty barbarians. Yes, but understand, during the days of Aldwin's rule, all dragons were his allies. There was nothing else they could be. If not for Partanax, Aldwin could not have been overthrown. It was he that first taught men to use the Thum. Thum. <sighs> Kinnerith has placed the voice of wisdom within you, Dragonborn. All you need do is learn to listen to it, and your path will be clear. Hmm. Okay, well... Sky above, voice within. What? Is that Parthenox up there? Dude! Dude, what the heck? Uh-oh. There's a lot of dragons out. Did I get my new... What was my new call here? Summon... No, it wasn't Dunavir, it was... Wind... Dragon Rend... Call Dragon. Snow Hunter Wing, that's the one right there. Yeah, Odaving. Od Alright, put that on our favorites. Make sure it's over here. Call dragon. Alright, so... Dude, there's a lot of dragons up there. Should I go up there and see him? I'm going up there. I want to see what's going on up here. I'm going to talk to Parthenox real quick and see... See what he's got to say. Dragons flying around everywhere up here. Drem your look. Greetings. Yet I never tired of good fights. What do you make of that? Um Odaving will come to your challenge. Bozik, Krilot. He will not be able to resist your call. From the hill of the Dova itself, he will come. Well, that's good to know. The blades say you deserve to die. The blades are wise not to trust me. Onikan Niov. I would not trust another Dova. Dude, who just landed over there? Dov Walan Farel. We were made to dominate. The will to power is in our blood. You feel it in yourself, do you not? I do. 
I can be trusted. I know this, but they do not. Only Khan Neov Dova. It is always wise to mistrust a Dova. I have overcome my nature only through meditation and long study of the way of the voice. No day goes by where I am not tempted to return to my inborn nature. Zimgriforut se suyek. What is better, to be born good or to overcome your evil nature through great effort? Hmm. Tell the blades Parthenox is to be spared or kill him. He's to be spared. Sorry. Look through. And so over the shoulder of Media stands his friend Parthenox, who will be spared. The Dragonborn has a heart. I will spare Parthenox's life. Oh, 